Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. At midnight tonight, Uganda shall become independent. We shall have a Uganda flag, a national anthem, and coat of arms. These will be our symbols, but independence does not begin and end with the selection and raising of a flag, the singing of a national anthem, and the display of a coat of arms. Our independence shall mean great responsibilities for all of us, without exception. Collectively, we shall all be responsible to safeguard our independence and to ensure peace and stability within our country. In addition, the government in whose name I now speak offers to you a firm determination to protect your life and property and opportunities for your advancement. It is this ensuring of peace and stability and this determination for the protection of life and property coupled with opportunities for advancement as individuals and as combinations, and as a country that I now call upon all to pass as an irrevocable resolution, marking our new status and guiding us into the future. Let us add to that resolution that we are of Uganda, and Uganda is ours. Let us remember and pay our tribute to those friends from inside and outside Uganda who have helped us on our way to independence. Let us remember the best we have received and now inherit from the British administrations. I also ask all to give the missionaries, past and present, a special praise for the life they brought and do still maintain. I cannot forget our men of commerce and industry and also our peasant farmers and the working men and women. Our ability to have a higher standard of living will depend, as in the past, on their success, security and happiness. I pray to God to give us and our country the will to safeguard our freedom and to serve our country in peace. I pray that he may give us reason and in reason we may seek and find and may what I have said tonight bind us into the community of hope. We shall think and strive and toil in such patterns that work of more noble worthy may yet be done.